Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in this video, we're in Apple's uh, Photos application, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really slick looking slideshow within the Photos application here that comes natively on your Mac. So what I've done here is I've actually imported some photos from my iPhone. And basically all I did to do that was I opened up my Finder, I found the photos uh, where they are on my computer, and then I drug them on top of the application in my doc. So if you want to see what that looks like, you'll just click and hold on the photos and then the photos app will be right here and then just let go. And then all of those photos will then be available to import within the photos application, as you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and import all of those new photos. Now you don't have to go through that step. If you've already gotten an album or photos that you want to use for your slideshow, all you've got to do is go on over to your photos, select the photos that you want to use with the slideshow and then do the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and go on over to this album that I just imported here. And then in order to create the slideshow, what we'll do is we'll go up to file and then go down to where you see create slideshow. So it's going to take all of these photos that I just imported. So whatever album you've selected or whatever photos you have picked out from your photo library. And then when you go to file, create new slideshow, the first thing you're going to see is the ability to name the slideshow. So name whatever you want to name the slideshow. So I'm going to name mine baby because you can see here, my daughter is uh, present in the majority of these photos and then click the OK button there. And then you're going to see the slideshow options come available to you. The first thing you're going to see is this text here. Now, there's not very much customization when it comes to text as far as you can add it, you can remove it, you can change the font a little bit of the size as well. But as far as like the location on the slideshow, you can't really do that. So what I normally do is I just remove the text altogether within this application and then export the movie into like ScreenFlow where I can manipulate the text a little better. So in order to add text, obviously all you've got to do is right click down here on your timeline on one of these images and then you can actually add text. You can drag the text around and then in order to edit what the text says, you'll just double click there within the text and then you know rename whatever you want it to be there on that text box there. The next thing I want to show you is the ability to preview your slideshow. In order to do that, you can do two different things. You can preview it full screen by clicking this play button right here. That's going to show you a full screen option there. And then if you want to, you can just click the preview button here and it's just going to show you the slideshow within this window here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the preview now. And then also one thing I want to show you guys is the ability to move around your photos. So let's say I want this picture here, number 11, to be at the beginning of the slideshow. I can just click and hold, drag that photo all the way to the beginning of the slideshow. And then as you can see there, it's now the first picture in the slideshow with the text title screen there. And then as you can see, there's my daughter and my dog. How sweet, right? Uh, so anyways, that's how you drag and move uh, images around within the slideshow. Now let's get into the fun stuff, right? So over on the right hand side, you're going to see three different options. The first option is going to be the themes. Now this here is pretty limited, but there are some really good themes. So you have the Ken Burns themes, uh, you uh, theme, I'm sorry, you have the origami theme, you have the reflections theme, uh, the sliding panels, the vintage prints, and then the classic and magazine. I actually like the vintage prints because it looks really cool. Uh, so if we go here, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume just briefly. And then if I go ahead and preview this, or actually I'll go ahead and play this, as you can see here with the vintage themes, it actually has a really nice animation of actual like photographs that you've taken. And it actually has some nice backdrop black and white uh, color contrast. So I actually prefer that one, but you can choose any of these themes over here on the right hand side. Below that, you're going to see the option to change the music. So obviously natively, it's going to come with whatever music is associated with the theme that you've picked. In order to remove that music, just click the X right there where that music is, and then go to your music library by clicking the down arrow, and then open up your iTunes library. And then what you can do is go through here and actually select a uh, music track to go along with your slideshow. So we'll go ahead and go with this one here. Uh, Dolly Parton, I will always love you, right? We'll go with that one. And then we'll reduce that. And then you can see the selected music is now going to be whatever track you selected. And that's going to be the background music for your slideshow. Now, if you have a longer slideshow, you can always add multiple songs. So don't worry about that. If you need to open your music library back up, drag those songs there, and you can have two, three, as many songs as you want to have. And the last option on the right is going to be the duration. 
there are two different options. You can have a custom duration to make it, you know, 10, 12, 14 seconds per slide, or you can do what I do normally is fit to music. Normally, 35 to 40 images are about one song. So just depending on how you how fast you want the images to go by. So we'll fit the slideshow to an actual track, which means that however long that music track is, so the track we have here is two minutes and 53 seconds. So what that means is this slideshow will be exactly two minutes and 53 seconds. So that eliminates you having some like rough cuts when it comes to the music as far as like having to fade it out manually and it doesn't sound as good but if you have a fade in and fade out when the song comes in when the song ends and it fits perfectly with the slideshow that actually works really well so once you have all of this edited you have these slides where you want them uh, the uh, music the way you want it and the duration the way you want it go on up to the right hand side of the screen and you're going to see an option that says export so go ahead and click the export button there on the right now this is where you can name your movie it's going to be saved as a movie file. I want you guys to understand that. It's not going to be saved as like a bunch of pictures. It's going to be saved as a .mp4 or .mov dependent upon your preferences within the Photos app. And you can change that by going to Photos, Preferences. So normally what I do is change the format to uh, 1080p. Obviously anything I do nowadays, always at least 1080p, if not 4K and above. Uh, and then you'll decide where you want to save it and then click the blue save button. And then it'll export the slideshow depending on how large the, you know, the slideshow file is. It'll take a little longer, to, you know, again, dependent upon the size of your movie, and then it'll look like this. And as you can see, here's the finished slideshow. It's already exported, and I'm previewing it here on my Mac. It's running a little bit slow because the song is 2 minutes and 35 seconds, and we only have 13 slides. But as you can see, you have the nice slideshow effect with that vintage color black and white contrast. Such a great feature, uh, really easy to accomplish within the Apple's Photos app. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and help me out by slapping that like button down below, sharing this video with your friends and or family. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.